Hey guys, I had a lot of questions about the calculator. So um, here, I'm gonna just show you how to use the TI30XS. That should be three zero, just a quick. So let's say here's my antiderivative, right? We all know how to do that. I'm gonna plug five into it. So where people tend to mess up is trying to do it manually. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put five in my calculator. So I do that by saying five, and I store, it's my store button right above my own. Okay, so I store, and then the X button is right above it. Five store for X, and then I enter. Okay, and now I'm gonna type in my antiderivative. All right, so it's, one third x cubed. So I'm going to type one divided by three x to the third. Okay, and I have to come down minus one divided by two x squared minus five x. Okay, and if I push enter, it gives me um, 4.166666. Now Often the, the test doesn't let you leave a decimal. So if, if it will make a fraction, I will. And if it will make a fraction, all you have to do is push this double arrow button um, right above the enter, this double arrow button, and it goes boom. And that's what, 25 over six. So I'm gonna put that right here, 25 over six minus, and then I'm going to put negative three into my antiderivative. So what I'm going to do is do negative three, store for x. There's my store, there's my x, and I enter. Okay. And since I've already got my antiderivative in my calculator, I'm just going to go up and highlight my antiderivative. Okay. And then I push enter. And it blinks, I have to push enter again, and it's 1.5. All right, but I don't want it to be a decimal. How do I change it to a fraction? I go right above the enter and push that button, and that gives me three halves. Okay, three halves. So, but look, 25 over 6 minus three halves. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let my calculator do all the work. Shoom, shoom, I'm going to go over, I'm going to go arrow up until I see the 25 over six, and I'm gonna highlight it and push enter, and then minus, and I'm gonna go up and grab that three halves, and highlight it and push enter, and then I push enter again, and it gives me my answer, which is eight divided by three. And I let the calculator do all the calculations. Eight divided by three. I don't know if you can see that very well, but that's how to do it. And you have to know how to find the antiderivative and how to set it up, but let your calculator do all that. Okay. All right. So thanks. And I love this little calculator. It's a, it's, it's a really good one.